It's dark and the Reyes family prepares for their last night on the dusty streets of Maicao. They left Venezuela months ago with their one-year-old, but soon became homeless. They may be hungry and have no roof over their head, but they have a reason to smile. They've been accepted in a United Nations camp for migrants. Things will be better. We'll have a bathroom and three meals a day, which are a headache. They were in Venezuela and they are our problem here too. The following morning, the Reyes line up at this registration center with dozens of other families hoping to get in. I've registered a month ago with my sick wife, but nobody has called me, this man says. The system only looks at the level of vulnerability, is the answer. An answer difficult to accept for those hungry and desperate. Just like the Reyes, thousands of destitute Venezuelans scram the streets of this poor border town in northern Colombia in search of better opportunities. Officials had long committed to not building camps, fearing they would attract even more migrants. But early this year concluded they had no other choice. However, they insist this is not a refugee camp, but a place to house migrants for a month until they can get back on their feet. Colombian authorities and the United Nations are committed to quadruple the number of people that are sheltered in this center by next year, from the current 350 to almost 1,500. But even that would be just a drop in the bucket compared to the scale of the crisis. More has to be, has to be done. I think uh, UNHCR and uh, the government have been very clear on that more funds are, are needed to respond to this situation. There's 1,600 people on the waiting list, and that waiting list is growing every day. For the Reyes, being here means getting enough food for their underweight daughter. And their new tent, they say, is like a dream come true. This will help us not end up on the streets again. They're grateful but wary that when their time is up, they will be on their own again. Alessandra Pietti, Al Jazeera, Maikao.